What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds where today I don't have any videos for you so I thought I'd just fill you in on what's going on. Um, most of you that's followed me on Facebook and Instagram know that I've been on vacation for the last week. In fact it's been eight days today uh, but the vacation is over but I'm still not home and I don't have any content for you. So I kind of want to fill you in on what's going on. Hopefully you guys understand because there's absolutely nothing I can do about it. Um, I am currently in Terre Haute, Indiana. Uh, this is one of many places I used to live. And uh, my uncle, you may remember him from a long time ago, uh, we brought him a van that I got from Copart and we surprised him and delivered it to his house. That was several years ago. The van is still running. Um, I think it's an Oldsmobile Silhouette. Uh, the van's done great for him. It's been a wonderful vehicle for him. Uh, unfortunately, um, I found out right around the time I was about to start this vacation that my uncle, uh, he almost passed away. He, he was very ill and he's not doing well at all. So um, I came up here to look after his house and, and some of his stuff, make sure everything's okay. And uh, um, I may be buying a house while I'm up here, so uh, there's a lot going on. I'm not going to get into the specifics, but just understand there's some family issues, some pretty serious stuff going on here, and uh, I'm going to do what I can to to uh, save his house because it's one of those things where um, he's he's now going to be in a an assisted living facility, and it's it's crazy how the law works i guess i've never dealt with anything like this but the state is forcing him to sell his house and his cars any assets that he owns has to be liquidated um, and if it's not liquidated within a certain amount of time the state will stop paying for his medical bills um, and then obviously being that he's very sick uh you know uh, he could absolutely he could pass away from lack of medical care so this is a a complicated situation and I've never experienced anything like this uh, I, I'm pretty confused my mother is very confused she's having to deal with a lot of stuff on her end as well so I'm trying to help the family out by being up here and uh, it's a it's a very serious deal you know the only thing that um, my uncle and my grandparents ever got to have in this world was that house uh, and that house is very important to uh, to me it's it's really important to me and, and I'm just I'm afraid that if it sells to somebody else, they're probably going to tear it down and uh, and then it'll be gone. So uh, we'll talk about that later. Um, I'm going to see if I can go out and get some appraisals done today. Uh, and then assuming it appraises for what I feel is a reasonable amount of money, then I'm going to go ahead and just purchase it as a cash sale house. Um, no warranties, none of that stuff, no mortgage, obviously. Uh, house needs a lot of work, but it's something we could bring to the channel later, maybe. Uh, I think it'd be interesting to kind of bring my grandparents' house, my uncle's house, uh, from from the condition that it's gotten into now and, and, and bring it back to, to something respectable, something that they would all be proud of and uh, something that I could be proud of accomplishing as well. So hopefully that's something you guys might be interested in. If it is, then please do me a favor and drop the comments below and hit the thumbs up button. Um, I got a lot to do while I'm here. I'm going to go try to see my uncle today as well. Um, it is Friday, so I'm filming this literally uh, when you're seeing it. But uh, I didn't want you guys to think I forgot about you. I didn't want you guys to worry something happened. I have been driving the uh, Grand Wagoneer. We have put almost 4,000 miles on this vehicle. Guys, I went from Oklahoma, and I hit every state along the way to Florida. Then Florida, we went and visited uh, Georgia. From Georgia, we went to South Carolina and hung out there for a little while. Then we went to North Carolina and hung out on uh, in a place called Topsoil, top Topsail? Top Sail? topsail topsoil something uh beach for a couple days we really enjoyed our stay there um then we went from uh north carolina inward towards wilson north carolina which is where i used to live and i showed jessica around some of my old stomping grounds in wilson north carolina and farmville north carolina um, i used to live in both of those places uh, we went from farmville north carolina 
onward up, man. Virginia, West Virginia, Ohio, and now we're in Indiana. So it has been a very long drive, uh, and I, I'm, I'm here a lot longer than I anticipated. So just I want you guys to know the vacation is over, but unfortunately there's, there's not going to be any content indefinitely uh, except for some live updates that I can give you on the fly like this uh the, the things going on with my uncle and the family that that's got to come first above and beyond uh youtube and 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 stuff like that so uh hopefully you guys understand and stay tuned i'm gonna see what i can do and and, and if we can close this deal on this house and get it for for a good price i think it'd be i think it'd be really fun to uh kind of bring the house back from where it's at right now and 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 share some of that journey with you guys and uh you know my my grandparents are, are long passed away but hopefully we could do something with it that they would be proud of and maybe my uncle would be proud of too uh i have not seen him in quite a while it's been a while since we've spoken but um from what i understand he's got dementia and you know it's dementia is not a it, it's not a fun thing i guess you know what i mean um but I'm going to go try to see him today, and, and, and I'll get a better feel for myself, what condition he's in, you know, mentally and, and all that. From what I understand, he's doing well. Um, he's back getting his dialysis, and he's on his medications and all the stuff. Uh, basically, the, the short version of the story is, you know, he's got dementia, and he kind of fell out. And he stopped taking his meds, he stopped paying his bills, and he was found unconscious, and uh, he almost died. Um, and... and he went to the hospital for quite a while. He needed extensive rehabilitation, which he still needs a lot of that. He's going through a lot of uh, a lot of therapy and stuff, but he seems to be happy, and he seems to be liking the facility that he's in. Um, he's just not he's just not quite uh, you know up to the times, I guess. From a lot from what I've heard from other people, it seems like he's kind of he's kind of in the 80s. Is kind of where his mind is at, and. Uh, he may get better. He, he may come out of this, and, and he may not. I, I don't know. But, uh, you know, prayers, of course, are, are always welcome for uh, for my uncle. I'm sure he'd appreciate it, and we would too. Uh, but definitely comment below. You know, tell me what your thoughts are on, on, on this house. If it's something you guys want to see, maybe we, could, uh, maybe we could do something on that later on down the road. But for right now, my goal is simply to keep the house from going to somebody that's going to tear it down. Um, Terre Haute is a growing area. It used to be really small, um, and, and it's huge. It's gotten so much bigger since the last time I was here, but then so have I, so I guess, as we kind of grown together. Um, but uh, a lot of businesses, a lot of people are coming out here, and they're buying up property, you know, and they're just demolishing it, and they're building duplexes, and they're building taller buildings and stuff like that. And uh, I'm real sentimental when it comes to things like that for my family. You know, we don't have a lot. That, that gets passed on from one person to another so uh, I can't imagine seeing that house torn down I used to live there you know I lived there my grandparents lived there and my uncle lived there and there's a lot of history there's a lot of memories in that house and the thought of somebody just coming in some stranger coming in and paying bottom dollar for it and then tearing down all that history I can't let that happen I can't let that happen. I don't think it's going to be going for a lot of money. It's in really bad shape, guys. Uh, I'm not even sure if, like, financially it's an investment worth doing. Um, but for me, it's not, about, uh, it's not about a profit. It's not about trying to flip or anything like that. For me, it really is just about preserving some of my family's history and trying to keep this house from being torn down and basically wiping away all the memories, all the history of our family in this one house. Well, we don't have much in my family. We don't. We we don't have much, but this is something I think I could save. This is something I could hold on to and pass along down the road when I'm gone. But uh, anyway, I'm going to stop talking. I, I I'm sorry for the long-winded video there. It's just there's some tough things happening right now, and and it's stressful for everybody involved. And I'm just trying to do something to help out and. You know, wish me luck. Like I said, prayers for my uncle are, are appreciated. Stay tuned uh, if I have any updates, if I can make a deal on this house or something. Uh, the state requires, I know people are going to say, well, why don't you buy it for a dollar or something. It doesn't, it doesn't work that way. Uh, the state says it has to be sold at fair market value. 
The only way to determine fair market value is to have an appraiser come out or a realtor that does appraisals come out. They have to properly appraise the property and then I can buy it, but I can't, I can't, <laughs> there's no strings that you can pull here. There's no loopholes. I have to buy it at fair market value. So if that's 30 grand, I got to pay 30 grand. If it's 15 grand, I got to pay 15 grand. You can't, uh, you can't negotiate on this stuff, man. You know, the state's watching, the government's involved in this, and everything has to be done right. The I's have to be dotted, the T's have to be crossed. Um, so, uh, I just think it's crazy that you could take some, I, I understand that he's on, uh, disability or social security i'm not sure what all it is you know but uh i understand that somebody's got to pay for it and i guess that means that they they run all the money out of his bank account they take all of his money they take his cars they take his house and uh he's left with nothing i guess to me it just doesn't seem fair he worked his whole life you know he did he worked he or he worked for it but that's not enough if you go into an assisted living facility the state will take your house. Uh, they will. They'll force it to be sold in your cars, and they'll take your bank account, too. And if you refuse any of that, then you don't get medical treatment. You don't get to live in an assisted living facility. So, I mean, maybe maybe some of you think that's fair, but I look at it, and it's like, you take, you take the man's house. Really? I was shocked. You take the man's house? You take his bank account? They've, they've already took his bank account, I guess. They... They got access to his bank account, so something like a spin down. I don't, I don't, I don't know how any of this works, guys. I'm, I don't understand. I just, I never thought that I would be in a position where I'm being told that my uncle's getting his house taken by the state to pay for his living expenses. You know, I don't know. You guys can argue that down in the comments below. Stay safe out there, everybody. I'll, uh, I'll get back with you and and content as soon as I can. I, I hope you understand.